back live in Mankato with uh, TJ Clemens from Pitt. Just another day at the office for you, or what? Uh, never another uh, another day at the office. You know, you know, I'm here to get better, so I wouldn't call it just another day at the office. So. Uh, always getting better, <laughs> always working. Yep, Absolutely, yep, yep. sound like a rookie. That's what they tell you to say, right? Hey, <laughs> no, you, that's what I do. That's no, no do. doubt. Did you uh, did you enjoy that day off yesterday? Uh, absolutely. Day off is always good for the body, for the mind. You know. So it was definitely, definitely needed. Good mental break. You and the boys do anything fun, or what you guys uh, end up nah, doing? Nah, not with my family, man. N- no, uh, nobody hit the sticks. Nobody got on some Madden or anything like that. Not that I know of. Nothing. Can't no. Speak for everybody else. I, I was, I was home. Speaking like a rookie, <laughs> hitting the books, baby. Okay, yeah, I went down to the Mobile, uh, Alabama. Saw you at the Senior Bowl. Okay. Uh, just talk to me about that experience. I, I was there uh, during your press conference with Phil Savage, mm-hmm. a very soft-spoken, humble guy. Just talk to me about that experience and, and what you learned from that down there. Um, what I learned from the Senior Bowl. You know what? I, I learned. I truly learned to be myself. You know, after that experience, I went down and it was just, you know, I was trying to be somebody who I wasn't trying to change my technique and yep. learn so much new things in a week. Impossible. Doesn't happen like that. So that's what I learned. Just be myself when it's time to play football. Well, and I thought that you were somewhat. <sighs> I want to say unfairly judged down there because they threw you in the fire a little bit at left tackle and and I think a lot of scouts maybe got down on you a little bit just because again not thinking about the situation and how how tough that is mm-hmm. mentally and physically with a lot of new guys a lot of new situations a lot of new plays to jump in there was that a difficult part of that process for you? You know what it wasn't it wasn't difficult because I wasn't surprised you know I knew I knew they were gonna put try to put me at left tackle and uh, expose me and get me exposed and you know I did a little bit and you know what it's just all a part of the uh, the process man learning and, and learning to adjust but now you know if you want to somebody want to throw me on the left side of course you want to give me a try on the left side it's not a problem so you know that kind of going in that you might be thrown at left tackle a little bit and and and, and thrown on an island out there a little bit and try at some zero? new things yes sir yeah yeah a little bit all uh, right you know see I, I thought one of the reasons a little unfair to to judge you there because again your history at Pitt defensive end and they flip you over to offensive tackle for those last two years uh, I guess just talk to me about that transition from the defensive side of the to the offensive side and, and I guess eventually in the long run it, it you ended up here in the NFL I mean I, I'm I mean a hundred percent thankful for the uh, <laughs> for the transition because uh, I would not be here yeah uh, in the NFL yeah I, I believe if I, if I didn't make the switch so no doubt definitely no happy doubt. about yeah. that but um transition was it was uh, it was a little tough you know new terminology new position mm-hmm. uh, just a new way of, uh, of playing football so it was uh, definitely uh, uh, Tough transition, but I was able to make it. Who, it worked who, that well. Yeah, who, who who was responsible for that switch? Was it was it a lot of coaches there? Was it one specific guy? Or was it a group think there? Or yeah, how'd I, you end up over there? I'm, I'm sure they had a, a, a coaching meeting. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it was me and Coach Chris when I wanted okay. to call me in his office, and we'll just you know teach him. And I I think it could be a really good offensive tackle uh, for us. And um, you know, it's up to you. Uh, I'm not forcing you to do it, mm-hmm. but. You know, if you want the uh, the opportunities there, and I you know, went home, thought about it, made a couple phone calls, and came back and said, "Coach, I'll do it." Turned out to be a great decision. Now, here we go, heading into the draft. Now, uh, we got a, a raw guy here who's only played two years at tackle, but we still got a lot of rumors going around: possible first day pick, first round talent, fall to the fourth round. Something about a possible foot injury was that a little bit blown out of proportion? And, and was there any truth to that? How are you feeling now? How's the foot? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I, I can't say whether or not I was blown out of, port, okay. out of proportion or not. Mm-hmm. Um, all I can say was I, you know, I, I, I've been healthy as far as I've known, and um, you know, I, I've never had an issue with it. So fourth round pick, Rob, a talented, falls in the Vikings' lap, and Rick Spielman calls you up, says, "Hey, coming to Minnesota. Talk to me about the NFL experience so far during OTAs, rookie minicamp, and uh, training camp so far." Uh, you got to keep your head on your shoulders, man. Mm-hmm. You can't get uh, too overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, what I what I try to do is I, I try to keep up with the vets <laughs> mentally, but I, I know that's going to be a little tough. They've been around for, you know, five plus years. Right. So, right. Uh, you know, I just try to learn a little bit as I, you know, as the days go, and just you know, learn what I can from from everybody. Uh, who wants to help? So. I'm thinking about the vets right now. I'm thinking about maybe uh, the offensive uh, yeah, meetings going on. Is there one guy in particular that is the clear-cut leader that you just feel comfortable going to if you got a question about a play or the playbook or anything going on? John Sullivan. He's the guy, huh? He's the guy. No doubt. Short and sweet. <laughs> Short and sweet, <laughs> baby. Short and out. sweet, baby. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, okay, North Turner, coaching 30 plus years. My God, what, what do you think? Now that you've seen him work in a little bit of action here, what do you think's made him so successful so far? Um, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. You know, he, 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 he knows he knows football, and you know he's just a he's just a great coach. He's just a great coach, and um, players respect him. So 
you know, when, when, he, when he speaks, you, you listen and, and you know that he knows what he's talking about. So you just hang your hat on that and then keep moving. He's a good guy to have around, that's yeah. for sure. Okay, oh, rookie uh, mini camp, they throw you in at guard at all? No, not yet. They never threw you in at guard at, at rookie mini camp at all? In oh, fact, rookie mini camp. Rookie yeah, mini yeah, camp, yeah, yeah. throw you yeah. in at guard. Well, what was the decision to kick you out at tackle? Did they talk to you about that at all, or did they just basically say, hey, um, we're kicking out at tackle? Not, so not really, go. nothing you know, they needed to talk to me about too much. I okay. think they just you know, thought I might be more comfortable there, and they just gave me the you know, opportunity to go back out. Now, i got to think, I, I'm looking at, you know, you're stuck on the right side here behind Phil Lodeholt, who clearly... It's looking good so far this year. Clearly has a good pedigree. Is that a little bit, in some way, a little bit um, kind of disheartening knowing that, you know, he's not going anywhere anytime soon? Um, you know, I wouldn't say that. I'm here I'm here to learn the game of football. It feels like a guy who's helped me, helped mm -hmm. me good. do that. You know, um, you know every damage is going to come out and, and uh, get what I have. And, you know, the decision's not mine. So right. I, I, can't, I can't really get into that. Are you adjusting to a new playbook, new terminology, uh, you know, new scheme? Is that difficult to, to adjust to that? Uh, at first, yeah, yeah but a little you know, bit because it's, it's a lot more than college. But uh, now it's starting to sink in a little better and uh, starting to stick uh, a lot better. So it's uh, it's becoming easier. How important is technique? Gosh, we hear that all the time. Technique and fundamentals. How important that is when when you guys are out on the field blocking? It's, it's everything. It's it is. Everything. Uh, you know, it's as simple as that. Yeah. It's everything. You know, you can be the best athlete, be the fastest, strongest, but if you don't have good technique, you'll you'll struggle. And uh, I've learned that early. So right tackle, you're going up against a guy like Scott Crichton a lot, I would think, getting a lot of reps. Uh, talk to me about him. Just what does he bring to the table? Where is he most dangerous at as a defensive end? Well, he's, he's a good player. You know, mm -hmm. if, you, uh, if you give him an edge, uh, he'll, he'll take it. If you give him an inside, he'll take it. So, you know, for me, it's just, you know, make sure I stay in great body position uh, to be able to go against him. And actually, all the defensive ends. So. Uh, what do you think, just give me one, maybe two, biggest challenge for your rookie season is going to be just just learning the whole curve and, and, and getting in the mix? I would say you know the speed of the game. I think I think the speed has picked up each level we, we've uh, gone. You know, rookie mini camp, mm -hmm. um, OTAs, mini camp, mm -hmm. um, now you know uh, training camp. Never the speed ends. Been yeah. up. So you know, I, yeah. I'm sure you know the game with the crowd. I mean, all that stuff is going to come into effect, and it'll, it'll be a, another experience. So day five here, the daily grind here, more almost more of a mental grind after a certain point here in the summer heat, day after day. Big picture wise, training camp, you guys come to Mankato. Just talk to me about, you know, kind of going through the grind together with your teammates. What do you think that does for a team? Oh, uh, it builds com uh, camaraderie. I mean, you know, this is a, it's a tough thing to do. So, you yeah. know, you're in the locker room and you're on the field, you're on the field with with other guys who are going through the same thing you're mm -hmm. going through, you know, the, the heat, the pain, the, the, the you know, pushing through, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's nothing better than having teammates saying, hey, man, let's go, let's finish up strong, let's, let's, uh, let's get better. So it, it definitely builds um, chemistry between the team. No doubt. Last one here with TJ Clemens, rookie offensive tackle from Pitt. A lot of downtime you guys got. Nobody knows what happens when you guys walk through that door. It's like a mystery to us out here. What Do you guys do anything fun in your downtime? What do you guys do to kind of just take a mental break at night, chill out, relax? What do you guys do? <laughs> Oh, uh, we uh, take off our stuff. We change, That's shower it. up, and uh, That's it. get rehab if That's we need it, and uh, hit the try to get, hit, get back to the dorm and you know rest your head before you know the meeting, and uh, you know look at your plays real quick, close your eyes if you can, and you know do it all over again. Jeez, man, start to finish interview, just he just sounds like a rookie, man. Just <laughs> love it, man. You're living, living it, living uh, it. Hey, man. thanks a lot for your time, man. No Appreciate it, and uh, best of luck for the rest of the Appreciate it, man. Thanks, thanks a lot. Man.